Hello and welcome to my house. I'm Craig O'Neill of THB11. Many of you may know me from coming to your school and reading a book, but today, something entirely different. Something very appropriate for our time. I'm going to attempt to make a mask. That's right, a mask. Keep in mind, um, I said the word attempt because I have never done this before. This will be the first time for both of us. However, I have attended YouTube University for two classes that lasted a total of six minutes on how to make a mask without any sewing, any staples, any tape, that you can do it yourself at home. And that's what I was told. Keep in mind, I haven't tried this until you started watching. But here's what I know we're gonna need. My help. <laughs> that's my wife better known as Miss Skeptical. We're going to need a ruler, which is always good to have, even though this is not necessarily a great ruler, but it's going to work because it's got measurements. We're going to need scissors. We're going to need shoestrings. So far, so good. I'm sure you have all these things. And this is the big thing. We're going to need an old t-shirt. This one dates back to 1986. Ooh, ooh. Actually, it has been fumigated and smells a little bit better than it would if it actually was from the drawer, bottom of the drawer. Anyway, we're going to cut this up. And before I cut this up, if you're going to try this at home, you better make doggone sure you get a t-shirt that parents agree can be cut up to make a mask. Here we go. We're about to start. Shoestrings. Ruler, scissors, old t-shirt, let the adventure begin. Hello, and welcome to lesson two of making your own mask. Today on lesson two, I want to tell you what I forgot in lesson one. There's one other thing you're going to need, and that is a Sharpie. Uh, I'll show you why in lesson three. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to my house for lesson three of Make Your Own Mask. Lesson three, the measuring. Take the old t-shirt, here's my old one. Take your old t-shirt, place on the table. This is the way I was told how it should be done on my visit to YouTube University. Place it on the table, smooth it out. There you go. Then take the ruler and depending on uh, what size mask you're going to make, I would assume this is going to be for you and you're a kid, so it should be about five and a half inches. For me, I'm going to make mine seven inches, which for me is just this first part right here. So this is really handy. I will place it on the table, on the t-shirt I mean, on the t-shirt, and I will measure it out with a line, just like this. Here we go. You know, perhaps it's better if you watched it. Let me get this off the... See the line? There it is. Trouble is, it doesn't show the right full Razorbacks. Ah, oh, heck, I'm going to show the full Razorbacks. Let's go all the way out to the Razorbacks, even though that's probably going to be about three inches too far. But I wanted to show the Razorback mask. You got it? Okay, there we go. Then go down to this point. So we're going to cut out the hog for the mask. Oh, isn't this exciting? This is so cool. Okay, we're about ready to use the scissors for lesson four. <laughs> And welcome to lesson four of Make Your Own Mask. We've already drawn out the outline, which basically is going to be that Razorback logo. I hate to cut up the hog, but that's what the SEC did to our Razorback football team last year. Let's not talk about that. Okay, here we go. I've already got the lines on it. I know where I'm going to cut out. So let's let the cutting begin. You know, what you could do is punch a hole through both sides of the shirt and you can make two masks at once. Ooh, isn't that cool? Let's do that. You all need to know something. I've lived in this house for over 45 years and we've accumulated a lot of stuff in this house. 
and that includes scissors that are real old and they don't cut very fast so I tell you what for lesson five why don't you come back to me back to me when I have this caught all cut out it ought to take me about a month uh, after six hours of cutting with old scissors I cut up the t-shirt my old Razorback t-shirt and got a section that's seven inches long five inches wide that I will make my own personal mask now for kids it's going to be a little bit not as wide but now this again is according to lessons learned on watching a class on YouTube University which I think you're probably going to want to watch too as opposed to this <laughs> you take the mask or the, the cloth and before you do anything else you take your ruler and you measure out about 15 inches on the your shoestrings okay there's 15 inches on the shoestring well maybe a little bit more how about 19 let's go 19 all in favor of 19 raise your hand the motion passes 19 inches okay we're gonna cut that right we're gonna cut that oh no oh no remember those scissors I said were not that sharp they're not doing this either and welcome back to my house for lesson six excuse me lesson six is it lesson six or lesson seven of making your own mask okay where we last left our story I was cutting into two old shoelaces of about 20 inches in length not quite 20 I'm going to now please notice this is going to be the mask it was cut out from the old t-shirt I'm now going to tie in a square knot the ends of the old shoelaces and we'll have a square knot that we can use all right as one end of that cord that's going to hold the mask in place all righty dighty there we go and we make it now please visit amongst yourselves while Craig tries to tie the square knot okay this is why I was never a surgeon all righty here we go okay there we go good and tight all right now you're not going to see me on this lesson because this was just going to show you from the top of the mask that we're making what we do next we've got our shoelaces right here and please note we have tied a square knot at the this will be the very top of the mask we will then push it up here we'll take the, the shirt the mask part and we will measure about a little bit over two inches three inches right there then we'll come over and do the same thing on this side a little okay then all we're going to do now watch this this is amazing all we're going to do is fold this over like this that's one side of the mask then we're going to fold this over and this is the second side of the mask you got it so here's our mask there's the top of it there's the mask and this is the part that'll be the bottom of it that you will tie once you get it that part over your head and then this part goes down and then that part I tell you what we'll do next lesson we'll show you how it works all right well welcome to lesson seven or eight whichever uh, I've lost count obviously I'm ready now to put on the mask that we have put together I will start with the top part that we did and <laughs> I will stop start with the top part just a minute I didn't quite get that long enough hold on this is so embarrassing <laughs> you can tell I really have never done this before okay <clears throat> now we'll start with the top part put it over our ears then we'll take the bottom part and put it behind us like this are you seeing it start to take shape you can tell it's taking shape I mean it's not like it's any, gonna be any big moment here it's gonna work 
I just got to get it tied. <laughs> this is the hardest thing I've ever done on camera. All right, tied it, brought it. It should cover your nose. It should cover your chin. Mission accomplished. How about that? How about that? And you got yourself a Razorback mask. Woo, pig, silly. Now remember, wear this around people when you're out in public. Don't necessarily have to wear it at home unless you get visitors and then you might want to put it on. But anyway, this helps with social distancing and we did it all ourselves. <laughs> Thank you.